In this video, I'm going to be showing you MicroAgent, which is a new open source project from the team over at Builder.io. It will allow you within your terminal to create functions with natural language. And the way that it works is it will go through this flow of as soon as you type in what you want to have as a particular function, it will generate a unit test for it. From there, it's going to generate the code. And then it's going to see, did it pass all of the tests within our unit test? If it doesn't, it's going to go and generate the code with the particular errors. And then this step is just going to keep happening until it passes or it gets stuck. If it gets stuck with the same errors repeatedly, it will just exit out. Otherwise it's going to complete. And by the end of it, you'll have your test file as well as your working file for your code. And if you're starting to wonder, okay, how will this work for certain test runners and all of that, you'll see how you can swap these out and how it interacts with your shell and all of that in just a moment here. To get started, you can head on over to the open source repository. You can just scroll down to the instructions here. This is going to be based on Node.js. You will have to have at least Node 14 installed for this to work. The first time that you run this, you can just copy this command and then you can paste it within your terminal just like this. So now that we have it installed, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to bun and it dash y a new project here and what that gives us is just a boilerplate for a new project and then you can do is you can just go ahead and run micro age if it's the first time that you're running it you will have to plug in your api key but you won't have to plug it in each time that you're going to be running this you'll also be able to access this anywhere on your computer since this is installed globally in this case i'm just going to go over and grab a simple leak code question here and we're gonna see if it can generate a function and all of the test cases for this. I'm gonna paste that in here. Right off the bat, it asks you, okay, is this a file that you want to create or you wanna edit? In this case, we are going to be creating it. It is nice that it allows you to tie into pre-existing files. If there's something that you don't like about it, you can give feedback. Otherwise you can just say, good. It will generate that test file for us. Then it's going to ask you, what do you wanna to use to run the tests of your code? So in this case, let's say, I don't wanna use MPX. I wanna use bun. I can copy that latter half and then I'll just put the latter half at the end of my bun command here. The first time that it runs, it does fail because it does doesn't find the file. So we see that the test files did fail here. And then at this point, it's going to generate the code for us. We see the plan, we see the analysis, we see the implementation there, and then we see a little bit of the description. Then it's going to update that code file for us. Right off the bat, we see that it did pass our test file. It did pass all 10 tests and it passed in 200 milliseconds. So if I just list these out here, we will see that we do have our two different calculate target indices. If we want to look into the particular tests, we can do that as well. So you can just go down to your test, open that. We have all our different tests. The thing I really like about this is it's very narrowly focused. It's not one of these agent tools that's trying to solve a bunch of stuff where it's too general and it starts to run off the rails. It's just a pretty brilliant implementation of almost an introduction into agents. So it's not trying to do too much, but it is also able to do relatively well what it's designed to do. And speaking of Brilliant, I want to thank today's sponsor, which is Brilliant.org. Brilliant is where you learn by doing with thousands of interactive lessons in math, data analysis, programming, and AI. It's a platform that's designed to be uniquely effective to learn often complex tasks. Each lesson is filled with hands-on problems, that helps you solve the particular concepts within that course. It's proven to be six times more effective than watching lecture videos. If you want to solve problems from first principles, Brilliant helps you think through all of the different complex pieces of how different topics work. Brilliant helps you build your critical thinking skills through problem solving and not just memorizing things like you might have done in college or university. The other nice thing with Brilliant is it develops that daily learning habit and have real world knowledge in just minutes a day in these fun interactive lessons. Say if you're at the grocery store, you can pull up, do some exercises instead of just scrolling endlessly through Twitter. They have a ton of great content. One of the ones that I'm doing right now is how LLMs work, which is an immersive AI workshop that lets you experience and harness the, the mechanics of today's most advanced tools. So you can start to understand how an LLM works from how it builds vocabulary, how it chooses their next word, and more. You'll begin to understand training data, 
comparing different models that are trained on different sorts of data. To try Brilliant, they have an offer today for 30 days for free, a complete free trial. You can visit brilliant.org slash developers digest, just like the link shows. And I'll put this within the description of the video as well. You'll also get 20% off your annual subscription if you choose to become a member. Let's go back to the problem list and let's go to a hard leak code problem here. So let's copy this over here. We're going to run this again. We're going to say micro agent and we're going to paste in our instructions. We're going to say that this is going to be a new file. We see the initial test. We'll do a quick scan. We'll just say this looks good. And then again, instead of using NPM, I'm going to type in bun here. It fails because it actually has to generate the code for us and it's going to start to create the solution for us. So again, it runs and passes all of these tests. Let's just try one for ourselves here. Let's say micro agent and I'll say, I want a function that removes back ticks from a string. I'm going to say, okay, remove back ticks. It's generating the test for us. We'll say good. Once again, we'll use bun. We see the steps it's running through. All right, so now we see that it did fail the second time here. It's invalid JS syntax. We'll scroll down here. Your test command is failing with the same error several times. So if it starts to run several times with the same error, it will error out so you're not recursively just burning all those tokens. As a feature where some of these other frameworks for these auto agents that came out over the past year, is a lot of them they would just run and some of the feedback that I would hear is they'd be really expensive really quickly if you weren't monitoring them. This is nice where it just has a little fail safe where if it detects that there is something that might be going wrong that involves some human intervention, you can go ahead and check out the different files or you can edit it from there. But otherwise, that's pretty much it. Play around with it. There's a ton of really good documentation within the README here on how to get started. There's also a visual matching feature within the repo, which could be interesting to check out here, where the micro agent will help, say, if you want to pass in an image and begin to implement that design within code, you'll be able to do that within micro agent. It does say that this is an experimental feature if you are going to be using it. They encourage you to use the Anthropic API key because it is particularly good for the visual matching feature. You can try that out if you're interested. Really great project from the team over at Builder.io. That's it for this video. If you found this video useful, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Otherwise, until the next one.